interrupt this broadcast because we have news just in that Skatewine has quit skateboarding for FPV. And if you believe that, you'll believe anything. Skatewine. I am making this video because I would like to introduce or and explain my new love, my new hobby on top of skateboarding, FPV. And how FPV flying and just the FPV community in general is so similar to skateboarding. So let me explain some similarities. Number one, spots. I can't believe how similar it is to trying to find interesting spots to fly. And it's interesting to me, the YouTube videos that I've watched of FPV where they're flying around an abandoned building and then there's a skate park there. <laughs> And or a lot of DIY spots just randomly where the FPV pilot is flying. There'll just be a random skate skate park there. It's just so funny. So finding spots, getting busted, getting kicked out of spots is a huge similarity between the FPV community and the skateboarding community. And I just think it's amazing. The use of environment is so important to FPV as it is skateboarding, especially street skateboarding. As somebody who skates primarily skate parks, I still find it interesting when I'm walking down the street, looking at stairs, looking at your obstacles that you can see in the street. And that's now how I view flying. I'll be walking along, there might be a building or something that looks really interesting to fly around in near. Number two is, if, especially if you're a street skateboarder, you know how many skateboards you go through. <laughs> skateboards, wheels, trucks. Part of skateboarding is skate and destroy. And as I have found, the number of parts that you have to keep buying in FPV is insane. Propellers, frames, arms that get broken. It's another part of it. It's almost like FPV and destroy. You see freestylers flying around bandos and crashing their drones, having to buy new propellers, having to buy new FCs, ESCs. It's so similar in that regard to skateboarding. <laughs> You learn that you're gonna you're gonna break it. You learn how to fix it. You learn how to build a skateboard, how to change a board, and ha and keep the same trucks and bearings and wheels. And it's the same with FPV, changing the whatever you've broken, whether it's the frame, a motor, a propeller. You have to learn about how to change that. Just get the tools, changing things, and another part of why I love it. All right, well uh, this quad hit the ground so hard that my my GoPro mount flew off. Number three would be. The fact that I believe skateboarding has now become more, ex more accepted because of the Olympics. However, it's always been seen as a nuisance. And if you're skating in the streets, people turn their, up, their nose up at you. And it's the same with FPV flying, generally speaking. With skateboarding, if you're skateboarding at a spot, you will have people turn their nose up at you and ask you to move on. And it's the same with FPV flying. I actually have been, actually, it's a new word, I've actually been very lucky in the fact that most people that I have spoken to have been super nice to me and generally been very inquisitive, wanted to get into the hobby, want to know what I'm up to and actually been really nice. Uh, why I'm doing it, it's actually been part of what my business plan and it's super interesting that there's also the Karens out there, the same with skateboarding. The way that society see drones and see skateboarding there's another weird similarity that crosses over. Uh, number four, freestyle. You've got freestyle in skateboarding, and then you have freestyle in drone flying. <laughs> and it's so amazing that I don't think there's any tricks that are the same name, but you have tricks in freestyle flying, and you have tricks in skateboarding, and it's very difficult to do some of the tricks in FPV flying. You have to learn muscle memory, you have to have confidence, you can't be scared, and it's the same with skateboarding. You have to learn a trick, and it's something you have to try over and over again. 
and it takes many hours to get good at and that's how I was instantly hooked to FPV. Number one reason for me to be hooked to it is how difficult it is to be able to do and the ability to have that muscle memory is a fantastic thing and something that's amazing in skateboarding and some of the drone flies out there are just insane. <laughs> One that I hadn't thought about is actually fit the, the art of filming. So with skateboarding, street skaters film lines, and it's the same with FPV, is knowing your surroundings and filming a line, filming your tricks, having a GoPro on top is another part of it, which is so similar to skateboarding. Um, that not only is it having the wide angle of what you're doing, but it's fast paced, it's exhilarating, and it's why it's just so why I'm addicted to it. It's just the crossovers are insane. So if you're interested, leave me a comment. Any questions? Leave me a comment about FPV. I started up FPV Wine. It's already doing better than Skate Wine as a YouTube channel. So go and if you're interested, go and uh, subscribe over there. And this is going to be hopefully my one and only video of FPV stuff on my Skate Wine. But I thought it was interesting to tell skateboarders about FPV drones and the way that it crosses over. The, the hobby is so similar, it's so much fun, and I wanted to share my enthusiasm for another hobby, not just skateboarding. Still love skateboarding. Man, I went skateboarding the other day and I learned a new trick. Shouts to John Horner, um, Feeble Backsmith. On a rail, never been a rail skater, so stoked on that. Thank you to people who've supported me over the years. Shouts to D's Nuts, shouts to Lamb Chops Barbershop, massive shouts to SUK Skateboards for giving me boards for whew, seven years now, it's quite a while. And hopefully I can get good at FPV droning and maybe get some sponsors there. That would be amazing, the dream. So I hope all you skateboarders have enjoyed me talking about my other hobby and it will be back to schedule next video, something skateboard related. Um, introspective introspective is that a word in, in retrospect retrospective I hope that's a word I'm going to google that quickly no nope, that's not it hopefully that's given you an alternative perspective on something other than skateboarding I really enjoy this hobby and I will continue to enjoy skateboarding as a hobby see you in the next skateboard related video thanks for watching peace out cheers